Woody Womack and Nick Kruger are here at the Rivals Three Stripe Camp Series, Dallas Stop. Little role reversal. I'm hosting this this show. Boy, ta- it's just like the Commitment Issues podcast, <laughs> yeah. which you can check out every Thursday on Rivals.com. Talent on full display today, but we want to talk about Nebraska and recruiting. What What's going on? The Huskers invading. Grant Gannell, one of the top quarterbacks in 2019, told me he's headed up there soon. Yeah, Nebraska, well, you know, they, uh, their efforts in Texas are not a, a strange thing here. Obviously, a lot of kids are getting offered by the Huskers, and we saw uh, not only Grant Cannell talk about the, his recent interest with them, uh, but also Cassidy Woods, wide receiver. Probably had the catch of the day out here, just this nice, really one-handed grab and uh, with a defender draped all over him. But, you know, they, uh, you know, they like to recruit fast guys on offense. They're trying to change that culture out there uh, as far as their perception goes with kind of upping the tempo, and, and they're keying in on guys here in Texas that kind of fit that description. Yeah, Ganelk told me that Mike Riley said they want to make it QBU. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, and and, and Grant, you know, as he, he likes to tell us that he thinks he can fit into any system. You know, we'll we'll see how that goes. But <laughs> but obviously, uh, a guy that throws the ball real well. Well, you know, one of the schools that uh, has yet to offer Grant Texas, his own home state school. Mm. He said to me he, he didn't know about that one, but uh, we saw our our MVP at defensive back Jalen Green walking around sporting the burnt orange backpack seem to be very high on Texas. Yeah, it's true. You know, it's it's kind of tough to get a read on Jalen Green sometimes because he, you know, he kind of sp- kind of speaks in low tones and you know, doesn't try to give too much away uh, short answers, but I think it's pretty clear at this point that, you know, some of the more regional teams are the ones that he's looking at hardest, Texas A&M being the other one. So, uh, you know, we've see- we've seen with the Longhorns and their recruiting efforts uh, uh, not quite to the level of Charlie Strong, but they're still kind of, you know, kind of pacing themselves as far as how, how hard they pursue guys. And uh, But, you know, Jalen's coming along with his recruitment there with the Longhorns, sure. Yeah, we're hoping Texas maybe finishes Charlie Strong because they're <laughs> off to, to not a very <laughs> Charlie week right now in the early recruiting with uh, commits here in the state of Texas. You said it, not me. You said it, not me. <laughs> now, TCU, uh, a school you wanted to talk about, the yep. Too Cold U, as they're often referred to on your Twitter feed. A lot of kids talking about them today. What's the deal? Well, you know, TCU's been probably, you know, among all the in-state schools that we've seen have a lot of junior days and uh, recruiting events, hosting kids. TCU's probably been one of the most proactive, I think, that I've I've heard about. Tanza uh, Von Gore, a Rivals 250 safety, just committed recently, was out here today. Uh, you know, he's working on a couple of guys. And, of course, they just had an event where Jalen Green, who we just talked about, you know, even though Texas has been recruiting him, he was just at TCU this weekend heading into the event today. Well, one thing's clear, it's going to be a battle for uh, all these kids, especially the top-rated kids in Texas. And uh, keep checking Rivals.com for more news and updates.